Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it's your first time on my channel, my name is Alm. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you this glam holiday inspired makeup look where I used crystals on my eyes. This is probably one of my favorite looks that I created, so I hope you guys like it as well. Now the first thing I did was primer my eyelids, which I always do. I feel like, should I even still keep showing you guys this step? But it is very important. Um, I always use the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre, which is my personal favorite eyeshadow primer. Then after that, I went in with this palette, which is called Nine Years Ago from Dose of Colors. I'm actually only gonna use two colors of the whole palette, so it's not gonna be like a super like complicated look. I'm only gonna use two shades um, because I really wanted the focus to be on the red lips that I'm wearing today and also on the crystals that I applied on the eyelid. So we're keeping the eyes quite simple today. I'm just gonna blend this kind of like light brownish color all over my crease going from the inner corner to the outer corner i'm just making circular motions with my brush and i just keep adding product until i'm satisfied with how it's looking i just wanted like a light brown kind of transition then i went in with this color right next to that and i'm going to use my finger to apply this all over my eyelid i think it's kind of like a really light yellowy champagne kind of shade i don't even know how to describe this color but it's really pretty shimmery so just easily like applying it all over the eyelid nothing too complicated um, you can just use your finger for this because i feel like using your fingers to apply a shimmery color on the eyelid just it just grabs more pigment on the finger and you will get more coverage basically so now I went in with a winged eyeliner. I personally love a winged eyeliner. Now, if you don't like it, you can also go for like a simple line above the lash line. You don't know, you don't have to do a winged eyeliner if you don't like it, or maybe you feel like you don't have the eye shape for that. I feel like the eyeliner in combination with the crystals and the bold lipstick definitely looks really nice together. So I would suggest to do it and try it, I think it's gonna look amazing. But of course, I know for people with hooded eyes, they don't always like how it looks on them. So I would just say go for like a simple line above the lash line or maybe do like a smudged, like you can use either like black eyeshadow or maybe like a dark brown, just smudge it along the lash line to just give it a little bit extra. So now I'm just doing the winged liner on both of my eyes. I do have a separate video where I go more in depth on how I do my winged liner. So I will link that down in the description bar. Then after I finished my eyeliner, I went in with the Rodeo Drive highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics, which is actually my personal favorite highlighter. Or I have to say one of my favorite highlighters, but this is a really beautiful one. And then I also used a little bit underneath the lower lash line. And then I went in with that brown color that I used in my crease earlier. And also used this for underneath the lower lash line. So first I used the flat diviner brush from Sigma. Um, which I have a discount code for all Sigma Beauty products. And then I just blended it out. And then I went in with this copper eye pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually a duo pencil. So it has this copper shade at one side. And then it has a brown shade at the other side, but this is a really beautiful color. So then I went in with mascara. I went in with the Lancome Hypnos Le Absolu foundation, probably pronouncing that wrong, but I actually just applied lash glue on my lashes and then I was like, oh shit, I haven't applied my mascara yet. So I quickly applied my mascara before going in with falsies. And the falsies I am going in with today are by Tati Cosmetics Indie Style Profile Pick such a beautiful lash style i absolutely love it i mean they're quite dramatic but just in a really good way um they're just really fluttery the lashes are not too close to each other they're just really wispy and i just absolutely love this lash style so would highly recommend if you love a glam lash but not too thick so it kind of like covers your whole eyelid. They're just the perfect amount of glam. <laughs> so then I also applied the mascara on the lower lashes as well um, to kind of balance everything out. And then this is how it's currently looking so far. Now it's time to like apply the crystals. I actually use these which are by Colourpop from one of their newest collections. They already have like a sticky um sticker underneath the crystal so i didn't have to use like a glue or anything i can just 
apply them directly on where I want them to apply. Um, of course, if you recreate this makeup look, you can apply the stones wherever you like. You can just give your own twist to this. I was just randomly doing something. I had no idea what I was doing, but it turned out quite cute. And I think the crystals are super pretty. I'm not sure what the price is, but I feel like probably because it's Colourpop, they're probably not very expensive. So if you want to do something cute for holidays, this will just kind of like lift up your eye look and make it look so much more glam. So let's say, for example, if you go to work and you have like a party at the night, you can just do a soft look. You can create it or wear the same look that you were, were wearing like during the day and just pop on some of these crystals and it will just kind of transform your makeup look to something more glam. And as I did, I used it in combination with a red lipstick. So it just, I feel like that definitely makes it more glam anyways. <laughs> So I used the contour first. I will link everything that I used in the description bar if you want to know like the exact products that I used. Then I went in with this lip contour pencil from Huda Beauty. Um, such a beautiful red color. I believe the name was Universal Red. It's definitely like a universal red. You can use it with many different like red lipsticks. Super pretty. So I used this to line the lips. Um, I always use lip liner. It just makes your lipstick look so much more prettier. I'm really curious to know if you guys actually use lip liner. I never do lipstick without it, but I'm really curious to know if you use a lip liner. Let me know in the comments. So I use this beautiful liquid lipstick from Sam Marshall Cosmetics. Um, this one I believe is called Rooks, but I'm not quite sure, but I will make sure to link the correct name in the description bar. This one is so pretty and they also have a color which is called Rouge. And that one is a little bit like a deeper red with more of like a... I don't know, it's just a little bit different. I feel like this one is more like a pinky red. And the other one is more like a kind of like Ruby Roo from MAC. But both of them are so pretty. I'm a huge fan of their liquid lipsticks. Especially these red colors are so pretty. So now I went in with this um, powder from Givenchy. It's actually kind of like a bronzer, I believe, but I used it for my blush. But yeah, this is the finished result. I really hope you all like how it turned out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. Let me know if this is something you would wear. I have to say I felt super pretty wearing this makeup look. Um, it just made me feel super confident. I think it just looks super cute and definitely something I would wear for like a special occasion, like for example for Christmas or New Year's Eve. I think it's super glamorous. So yeah, I hope you guys like it as well. Thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!